Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick update for those of you that are looking to do something with a PWM Express LRS receiver like Get CRSF or SBUS out. Now lots of us want to do that because we have legacy kit that's running SBUS. I actually did a video all about that. However, there are two distinct separate different ways that you can enable it and it really depends on the receiver that you have, how that works. So I thought it'd be useful for those of you that keep asking me I actually had a Patreon ask me about this the other day. So for all of you that have asked me and all of you who are interested in this, hopefully this is going to dispel a little bit of the confusion. So let's look at a couple of examples. And these two receivers, both from Radio Master, one is an ER6G, the other is an ER8. These are both PWM receivers, but both are capable of outputting both CRSF and SBUS, but the way you set them up is slightly different. So these are two great examples. And shout out to Radio Master for actually making sure that all the information I'm about to give you is technically accurate as well. So let's start with this thing here. This is the ER6G. This is actually designed for gliders, which is why it's kind of the long, thin uh, format. There aren't any additional ports on here. There's no additional places that you could kind of plug an additional connection into. For this kind of receiver, then what you have to do is repurpose two of the PWM outputs to act as the serial output, and then that can be set up as either SBUS or CRSF, and you can plug it in as normal. To configure that, what you'd have to do is power up the receiver, let it go into Wi-Fi mode, and then connect to it via your computer by connecting to the Express LRS RX Wi-Fi access point. If it wants a password, the password is Express LRS, or lowercase, no spaces. And then it will fire up the main web page, go into the model menu, and as you go in here and you scroll down, you'll notice there's no option here for serial configuration. So what do you do? Well, if you go through each of the outputs, you'll notice that two of them are actually selectable and configurable as a serial output. So if I enable serial output on PWM2, it'll actually also assign PWM3. More about that in a moment. And then scrolling down, you can see that absolutely now I have the option to set up either SBUS or CRSF or inverted SBUS or all these kind of different options. Now, the reason that it's assigning two separate outputs is that's the way that this works. By turning on the serial receiver part of this PWM receiver, it's assigning two pins. And that's because if we use CRSF, those two pins will be configured as transmit and receive. If we then set it up as SBUS, then it's just going to send the signal over whichever pin is set up for transmit. The other way to do this is slightly different, and this is the ER8. This is one of the larger receivers from people like Radio Master, and if we look at it on the end, there are two additional ports. One of them is for the external voltage, so you can get your battery voltage back, but the other one has a negative, positive receive and transmit pin. This pin here is actually dedicated for that serial output. So in this case, we don't need to reassign any of the PWM outputs and sacrifice two of them in order for us to get SBUS or CRSF out. So in this instance, what we do is exactly the same, power up the receiver, wait 60 seconds for it to create a Wi-Fi access point, connect to it, and then go into the model tab. And as you scroll down, you will immediately see that there is this option here to configure, just like before, SBUS, CRSF, or whatever. And that's because this port, the dedicated port at the back, is there all the time. We don't have to reconfigure the PWM outputs in order to have those pins. Now, the nice thing about this type of receiver where you have that separate dedicated port is it's also easier to configure via the Lua script on the radio. In the Lua script, you can configure the protocol as either CRSF or SBUS, and that kind of does the same thing as what we've just done via the web page. So I thought it would be easy to very quickly put this into a little diagram. Again, big thank you to Radio Master for helping with this video. So in the first type where you have to go in and dedicate two of the PWM outputs as the serial pins. That is going to work on things like the ER3CI, the car receivers, the ER4, all versions of the ER5 receiver, and also the ER6G and ER6GV as well. The other way of doing it 
where that port is always there and it's dedicated for this stuff, that's going to be the ER6, ER8, and all versions of the ER8G and GV has it too. And a quick note on how you would wire that up. And again, you have the four pins on the port of something like this ER8. If you're setting up CRSF, then you're just going to connect all the pins up as you would any CRSF receiver. So ground plus five volts, the receive pin goes to the transmit pin on flight controller or stabilizer and vice versa. However, if it's only going to be outputting SBUS, then you only need to connect the ground and plus pin and the TX pin as well. So hopefully that helps those of you that are confused about this. The fact that there is those two different ways, one way you have to kind of repurpose some of the PWM output pins in order to get the serial options to appear has been confusing some people. So hopefully that helps those of you that have been stuck. I know I was because for a while I couldn't figure out what was going on too. Thank you for watching the video. If you watch my videos and find them useful, then please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe button. It helps the channel a lot. If you really like what I'm doing here, you can become a Patreon and support the time I spend helping others and get access to lots of exclusive benefits. Link is in the video description. Remember that all the videos on the channel are organized into playlists, so you can easily use those playlists to find all the videos on a subject that you are interested in. Add Painless360 to your searches on Google and YouTube, and it'll help you find my content for any particular topic. Thanks again for watching, and as always, happy flying.